<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the reptile room. Doing a little bit of an audio test. Let me know if you hear me. Otherwise, we're just going to chill for another uh, minute here. You can see what I've got going on and probably see Ron down here chilling out. So just let me know if you hear stuff. you guys hear me this time let me know drop a thumbs up <laughs> but we're here in the reptile room got Ronnie who's uh, chilling out right behind me here he's gonna help me do a little bit of we're gonna do a little bit of painting uh, on the clay stuff that I made last week on the channel there's the first hide. I made a couple other things as well um, you know I made the humid hide and that's the top we've got the bottom uh, so I made two of those, which was actually really good. I really like how the texture, you can kind of see it in there. Yeah, the texture is really cool, works really well. Hopefully that means paint will look pretty good. So I've got a couple of different colors here. We've got Ocean Storm. These are just sample sizes from Lowe's. Uh, Frappe, this looks like a white, cream to light. And then we've got, of course, black, watered it down. We'll do a couple little mix it up and then we'll do uh, some washes of color over this and I'll try to get the black to go in the crevices and we'll make this try to look uh, old like ruins. Awesome. So let me let me know what you guys uh, think so far. Uh, how was your guys week and all that jazz? All right, let's get some uh, free. Let me start with this uh, gray here. Let me see if I can get that to mix up. I'm just going to go over the whole thing, and then I've watered it down pretty well so I can use a rag, and we'll just wipe off the excess after it sets on it for a minute to get a little bit tacky. All right. I know Rocky Mountain's Fire, man. He's been uh, itching for some uh, live stream here. <laughs> nice to have you back, buddy. All right, so we'll just go right over it. All right. And then I even have some more water over here that we can go over it to thin it out a little bit. Make it go a little bit further. I don't really want it to get too wet. The clay will rehydrate. Hey, hey, glad to have you join on the live stream, everybody. Just doing a little bit of a rough, rough painting here. So now, see how the color can change up. Sorry if you see me look over to my right. I have a monitor over there. I'm double checking stuff on. So you can see I've got a little bit of color here that's sticking to it. That looks pretty cool. Uh, here, let's see. See, you can wipe it off a little bit further in other spots so it brings out the detail that you've carved in there. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty nice. All right, let's keep going here. Try to do this a little quick and dirty so it looks a little older, too. So the, uh, the clay, after I molded it, took probably three or four days to get to where it is now. Pretty much since the live stream, I made a couple other pieces. So like I said, I've got another humid hide as well. We might get to paint that or we'll... Just move on and look at some animals after I get this a little bit further on, but yeah. Hopefully the leopard geckos like all this work, even though it's really just for me. Starting to look like a big gray rock with some uh, stuff, so I'll probably do some black on the front there. 
see if that looks pretty good. You can also use a heat gun to speed this process up, but I pull a lot of power down in this room and I didn't want to push it, especially with the streaming gear in here now. <laughs> have to run an extension cord for it next time. All right. I think these big crevices in the clay that formed are going to make this look pretty cool with the darker pigments getting stuck down in it. Natural gradients. So again, this technique is just called washing. So you just put the thin out your paint with some extra water and yeah, you could just go in after you paint it on and wipe it back off. And if you want to take a little bit more off in certain places, like maybe down here, I've got a lot of extra of, uh, water in the black paint, so I'll probably be able to get a little bit more off. Just don't want to let the water soak in too much into this clay, I'd imagine, because it is air-dry clay. So it's just use water to keep it moist so you can keep working with it, which it was really fun to work with. I only have one... Uh, six pound block of it left, so you might have to get some more too. <laughs> That's just for the leopard geckos. So, if you see down below, you see my uh, at Herpesaurus Rex there. That's my Instagram. You can check that out, post pictures on there. Been slacking a little bit here on the last couple days, but I've been out on a potential new job, so you might have to work a little bit more on some scheduling. Clean my brush up here, and then I'm going to start working on the black and getting it in here as well. Cool. So let's go with these are just random brushes I figured I would use that we've had laying around for a while because I, you know. Doing these, I use cheap brushes so I can throw them away. Cleaning them out is a little bit more pain, especially these little cheapos. So we'll do the same thing. Just kind of wipe it in. Make sure we get it in those cracks specifically. All right. Okay. Took a little bit of the extra of, of some gray off, which is cool. Let's see. Okay. Do a smaller area, maybe apply a little bit less. There, you see that difference? See the, the darker lines? You can actually see the brick coming through now. Yeah, it's a really cool. Uh, easy technique you can use, so you don't have to have a whole lot of artistic skills here. You know, so talking to you here, Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks, you can do this, I promise. This is easy stuff. Alright. Yeah, I think this is turning out pretty good, so I'll have to just touch up a little bit more here and there. Add some in the extra cracks, let it dry, and it's going to, hopefully, hopefully this Saturday, we might be able to sneak these in the leopard gecko enclosure, but we will see, we will see, they have to dry pretty thoroughly. But you know, I made columns and stuff, which you saw, so they had the same sort of pattern, you can see this is what it dries like. Uh, you can't exactly see the detail in it, but after a little bit of the paint, you get some good results. Looks like uh, you know one of the abandoned rock caves. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, like I said, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, check me out there. I post pictures on there every once in a while. Uh, I'll have to post a little bit more often for you, too. And then you can also check out my Patreon, which I've updated. The link is in the description there. And I've added a tier 
so there's a little less confusion with it. And with that, you can post questions and whatnot in there, and I will get back to you directly. Also have a couple of member benefits over there. And uh, thinking about, we're definitely going to add um, another tier or two. It just, they're going to be a little bit down the road. Maybe I'll try to get a few of those updated here. We'll see. All right. I think I'm pretty content with how this looks right now. It looks pretty, <laughs> pretty rustic and run down. So I'm going to set it off to the side and let it dry. Let me pull out one of the... Um, oh, here. Let me just walk you through the couple of basic pieces I made. So I made some roof tiles here. So you can see that there's also a very faint brick pattern in here, but it's actually pretty deep. So hopefully we'll get some good uh, texture out of that. So I have two of those panels. I have two or three just random flat pieces all about the same size and I've got a few columns here like I said I made four of them two of them have broken so I'll probably arrange them in a way that uh, makes it look like they've collapsed a little bit over time you know like rubble I'll probably make a few more pieces like uh, wall sections and whatnot but you know the hide the humid hide so that was the first one let me pull the second one because it's a little bit better The second art piece is always better when you're making doubles and molds and stuff. <laughs> All right. So you can see right here, here's the hide, the humid hide. The whole top section comes off. Thanks for all the tips on the uh, saran wrap. That was that worked pretty well. Uh, yeah. does look like the lighting got a little darker. I don't know. Can't really fix it right now, guys. So... Cool, so I'll probably start working on this, or do you guys want to look around and see some critters? You're going to have to let me know. I know that Brian Barczyk just got some basilisks, so I'm pretty excited to see how he's going to keep them. Looks like they're going to be in a little bit of a smaller enclosure than what I got, but um, it'll be interesting to watch him uh, fill them out, grow the, grow the colony. So let me know if you want to see... Uh, see more, see some animals, or a little bit more painting. Alright. Drop my hands. Cool. Oh, we're going to do a little bit more painting then. I can do this maybe in two pieces. We'll start with the top. The top's going to be cool. Cool to see done. All right. I am going to go with a slightly different color this time and see what uh, kind of outcome we get. Let's do... Oh, animals. All right, we'll do some animals. Let's get over there. Ah, gotta sneak out. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So over here we've got the basilisks. in focus to me. Alright, so we got the basilisk. I don't know if we'll be able to see the turtle down there. Sorry, there's the reeds turtle. Alright, it's uh, be an impromptu reptile room tour. And then after this we might wrap up, but we've got Jane Hanging out, he just ate a big meal. We have a plated lizard. We 
she's she's really cool. She's really letting us do a whole lot now. We can reach in there and pull her out. She doesn't really battle. She's still a little squirmy, but after a minute, she calms right down. Moving up, we've got Caboose here. Let's see. Caboose is tucked. There's the side. Caboose and Jane just ate a big meal. And it looks like you can see the uh, white back there. That's snake poop. Snake poop, there you go. Start your day off right. We've got the leopard gecko adult colony. That's where these uh, these pieces are going to go. Alright, let me see here. Let me see if I can get the... Yeah, can you see the... Oh, let me find a... Oh, I don't have a flashlight over here, sorry, but... You can almost see the little baby gecko here. I don't want to freak her out too much. Brad's enclosure. All right. Spin your around. Let me see if I can get Ronnie to come down here. Keep posting your questions. It'll take just a second for me to get back over there. Look at him. He is such a big animal. He is definitely getting there. He's coming up on three years old. Yeah, he uh, definitely is going to have to start coming outside when it's warm and whatnot. I'm surprised he hasn't come running down yet. Here, let me see if I sit down on his shelf. Random. Oh. Come on down, Ronnie. No? Alright. Let me go read these comments over here. I see them all popping up. <laughs> We'll come back to Ronnie then. Okay. Oh, yeah. The little known bug shelf that I do have. Dubia roaches, the super worms, mealworms, and uh, earthworms up in the back there. Let me clock this back down. should have built the room bigger. Let's see. Oh no, Rocky Mountain. Yeah, all the animals definitely are out and about. The virtual expo. Uh, I think I saw um, I think I saw something about that I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be available to come, and, or I, I'll have to see. If you send me a send me a message, my email that you can link is in the uh, in my info section, I think, on my main page. Yeah, Ronnie, he's he's beast. Oh, there, of course, he comes now. Here, hold on, I've got a. Oh, I got a title for him. Oh, this is probably not going to be a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hopefully he's not too much. Come on, buddy. So you just get in there and give him a little pet. Alright, close that before it's too much. And you can see if he wants to position here or gets up on this branch, You'll see the um, his back spine scales are all super blue. Because actually, let me grab this. This is a shed that I got off of his back. His whole back came off. That's one piece. You know, that's probably three and a half, four inches long. Look at those. 
super crazy. But yeah, he felt a lot better after that. And I've got uh, someone local who I met at one of the expos before all of the fun stuff that's going on. Um, I bought one of her pendants and whatnot. So I'm going to send some of my sheds and whatnot over to her. And hopefully she can, she can make a whole bunch of crazy stuff and I'll maybe get a couple pieces back and we'll see what they look like. I'll be excited to see that. Yeah, that piece of shed, I was pretty impressed when that came off. He just kind of hung out, and I moistened him up. I misted him down and just slowly peeled it back, and it was, he just loved it. He just stood there and, and took it. But he's also hungry. He's probably going to want some food here before long, so. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for the live stream for the day because it is a birthday in the house and it is not mine so happy birthday to my lovely wife Laura and uh, that's what we're gonna work on probably go make some brownies later and uh, just spend the day at home <laughs> straight out of sci-fi he is sci-fi he's like a t-rex and the basilisks are like the raptors from Jurassic Park that's how I think of so, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for joining me. Follow me at this link that you see popping up right here. It is at Herpesaurus Rex on Instagram. You can also click down below, go to patreon.com slash the reptile room. Check out the tiers that I'm throwing together. And, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next week. Hope you can hang in there, Rocky Mountain. I know a week in between is a little bit, but, you know, it's a good schedule. So, all right. Check an eye out for uh, the Saturday video this Saturday. I'm not sure what it's going to be. So, awesome. <laughs> all right, guys. We will see you later.